Welcome back everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. We're speaking today about a very important thing, how to grow taller and maximize your height. Um, everyone knows how much of a fan I am of fasting. Humans have done this for thousands of years. We lost this in our culture a little bit in modern times, but we're recently rediscovering the benefits of it. And one of those benefits is growth hormone production. For years, I was really, I was puzzled by how people got so tall, you know. Uh, we know height and size has to do with good nutrition and genetics, but how do some people and some cultures get so tall even though outsiders um, may see their nutrition and lifestyle as uh, poor? Uh, like how did that nerdy kid in school get so tall when his parents are short and he only eats junk food? How, for example, does the average height go up and down over thousands of years when nutrition is supposed to be getting better? How were the Vikings and Germanic tribes described to be so tall when they were supposedly more primitive and barbaric um, than other well-fed parts of Europe? And how are the tallest people in the world, the Dinka tribe in South Sudan, when their neighboring villages and countries are all short, when they all basically have the same diet? I'm a true believer that fasting is the number one driver of growth. Of course, genetics are the deciding factor, but you can add a couple of inches or add or minus with nutrition and sleep and things like that. But even uh, more powerful uh, of a growth driver is the hormonal system. There have been plenty of studies that show intermittent fasting can boost growth hormone by 300%. If you do fasting for a week, it can grow for more than a thousand percent. That is a massive increase. So growth hormone, no, no matter what age you're at, um, it, it promotes good health. Uh, but once your growth plates have closed in your late teens, uh, all the hormones in the world are not going to make you any taller. But if you still um, are growing or you have kids that, that are young and growing, I would really recommend trying it. I would have done it too if I knew it back then. All it takes is 16 hours a day of fasting, not eating, and then you can eat the other eight hours. That's when you get the benefits. It's not that hard, really. Just like the nerdy kid playing video games all day and only ate one meal, grew to be seven feet tall. Just like humans have done in history before agriculture came around when they uh, supposedly had a better diet. Just like the Germanic peoples were taller than those around them who were on the same diet, uh, we know the Germanic peoples had a long history of fasting. And just like the Dinka tribe, uh, pretty much they had the same diet as all the other areas around them, but the Dinka tribe traditionally eats only one big meal at dinner time. Their evidence is there, try it out, and there's uh, absolutely no downside. Even if you're 16 and you try this and you don't get any taller, fasting only brings good benefits, uh, unless you're diabetic or, or something like that and can't do this, then ask your doctor if he has any recommendations.